Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a book recommendation video and this video is going to be for thrillers. I have some books here that I'd like to share for some thrillers that I would recommend to you guys. So up here I have Into the Darkest Corner by Elizabeth Haynes. This book is a adult thriller thing. Holy hell, this was intense. Um, basically we follow a girl who meets this oh so charming man and then things go horribly wrong and it escalates really badly and this does have trigger warnings for abuse and OCD so keep that in mind. But this was one of the darkest books I've ever read. It almost made me cry. Like it was intense. If you need something dark, pick this up. Like there was, I had a couple issues with it still, but for the most part, it was really, wow. Like <laughs> next up here, I have The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. This is classified as like an erotic thriller thing. And people say it's a mix between Dexter and Fifty Shades of Grey, which is true. Um, so it is adult. There's definitely an erotica element, I guess. But a girl named Deanne Madden who doesn't leave her apartment and because she has homicidal tendencies. So if she leaves, she'll kill someone. So she stays in her apartment. It's about her and she works as a cam girl and it's just, it's about her. It's, yeah, I'm sure you've heard of this. This has been floating around a lot, but yeah. Next up here, I have The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. I really enjoyed this book. This book, of course, does have trigger warnings for suicide, so keep that in mind. This is about the Lisbon daughters who all commit suicide, and it's about these boys who live, like, across the street or next door. I don't even remember. And they kind of observe them, and they tell us what's going on with them. Like, they kind of watch them, and it's just... And it's just their fascination with them, I guess. And this was just really dark. I absolutely adored the writing style, and... This is considered a classic, isn't it? I think so. So it has a really nice writing style though. I abs I really, I really, really like this. So yes, definitely this one. Next up here, I have The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. This book, I would say is a thriller. It's also, of course, a lot of things, but this book is about death row and it's a, you're in a prison. You know how it goes. And basically this guy knows everything that's going on. So it's kind of like magical realism-esque. And follow this guy in a prison. We follow a death penalty investigator trying to get this guy off of death row. And it's just really interesting. And I've never read anything like it. I need more books that involve death row in my life. So here, of course, I have my, my love, which you guys will know already. Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. Cannot mention this enough, but this book is about the Mercedes killer who basically gets in his Mercedes, not even his Mercedes, he gets in a Mercedes and he runs down a lineup of people. And yeah, then this case goes unsolved and then the detective Bill Hodges retires and then he gets a letter from the Mercedes killer saying like, haha, you never caught me. And he kind of gets out of retirement to stop this guy and you know, and it's just such a great book, such a great trilogy. I'd recommend it if you haven't read them already. They are dark, they are odd. Like it's Stephen King, I think you know what to expect if you know anything about him, so yeah. Then of course, I got my Gillian Flynn on here. If you haven't read Gillian Flynn, you gotta read her, especially if you like thrillers. She's kinda like, she's like my queen in terms of thrillers. So I have three of her books here. I, the only one I'm not mentioning by her is Sharp Objects. It wasn't my favorite personally, it's still a good thriller I guess but I didn't love it so I'm not gonna mention it but stuff I have the grown-up um this is about it's a short story and it's actually really well done though so it's like a ghost story it's really interesting like if you like it's good it's short like might as well read it it's you like ghost stories it's good it's mm, the ending a lot of people have problems with the ending I personally kind of like the ending I had mixed feelings about it but it was really interesting like oh that blew me away and I have Gone Girl, of course. And not everyone loves Gone Girl. I definitely know that. It's kind of like a mixed kind of book. But the twists and the turns are incredible. I would have never thought that this is where the story would go. And the movie is amazing too. So if you read the book, you can watch the movie. <laughs> and this is about a woman who goes missing and her husband is basically to blame at this point. And it's just about what goes on with them and we follow the husband and then we also follow Amy's diary pages and stuff so yeah this was really really good really good really good I'm surprised if, if you haven't heard of it you gotta read that I also have Dark Places which is my personal favorite from her plays about this girl named Libby Day who when she was younger the family that she lives with is all killed and except for her brother so she's like oh it was him it must have been him so she blames her brother when she's like 
really young and he goes to jail for it and it's about her and she gets when she's older when she's about 30 and she gets contacted by these people who are like hey we don't think your brother did this let's try to you know figure it out and she's like nope but she needs the money so she does it and it's about them exploring the case again it's amazing i loved it this is like one of my favorite books of last year i love this so so these are the how many even books did i show you so these are the books that i would recommend if you're looking for a good thriller um let me know if you guys want any more of these book recommendations video and which kind of genre or topic or whatever you would like to see um i've wanted to do thrillers for a while so yeah <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you very soon with a new one bye